All right, we're back. And today's video is a shocker. But first, hey, what's new in the studio? Today, we've got this in the studio. We've got our new console in the studio here. It is a Soundcraft Series 2. And we've got some new Pultec EQs that are in the rack behind us. Those are Lindell PX500s. We've done some shorts on them. Also look out for our new shorts that are be coming out soon and our new videos too. And also, thanks for watching and subscribing. So, and hitting that bell notification. Anywho, the shocking news today is, you do not, and I repeat, you do not need any hardware. No, do not need it. Um, but Justin, I hear, you've got hardware behind you. You've got hardware all over your studio. You've got hardware that you hit your hand on when you move your hands. Um, unexpectedly, <laughs> you've got it everywhere. It's, uh, I've got drums that are, that's kind of hardware. I've got guitar amps. Those are definitely hardware. I've got pedals that are hardware. I've got, oh, you name it. I've got hardware everywhere. Um, it's all over the house, all over the studio here. My studio is in a house. Um, and you know, we just take it one day at a time. But do you need hardware? That's the real question. The question is, do you need it? And uh, and why? You know, you got to ask those questions. Why do you think you need hardware? Um, for me, it's a tonal thing. It's uh, a tactile thing. I like to touch my, I like to touch faders. I like to be able to turn knobs. I work quicker that way than, um, than by just clicking a mouse and doing stuff like that. Um, I also gather a lot of my tones and a lot of my sounds before I record them. So the hardware helps me do that. Um, but do you need it? Absolutely not. Um, well, I guess that's up to you. Um, for me, it's, uh, it's a thing of being able to touch, feel, and, you know, just your general kind of, um, work quick. I can grab an EQ, I can turn it. I can grab that compressor and I can turn it. I can bring a fader up and down. I can do a lot of my levels and stuff as it goes into the computer here. Um, now, if you need that, um, that's up to you. Um, but you don't need it to make music. You don't need it to even remotely, um, you know, make anything, really. You know, you've got, there's so much... Uh, VSTs and software synths and, and software EQs and plugins and stuff like that that exist out there that you could pretty much do an entire recording, mix and master all within the computer with zero or very little hardware. Um, now, if you're starting out, I would recommend getting you like a little two channel interface that's either like the, uh, the UA Volt uh, or Focusrite Scarlet. Those are kind of the two that I recommend. Um, if you can and you have the budget for it, the next up would be like the uh, the UA Arrow. It's either the Arrow or the Solo. I, they've renamed it. My I have an Arrow that I use for traveling, um, but I want to say they've upped it to to a different name, and I don't remember the name. Anyways, um, but that's that's kind of you know kind of starting out so you can get away with that and a laptop, two channel interface and a laptop and you, and a microphone, grab you a microphone. It could be a SM58, just heck, it could be even cheaper than that. It could be a, a cheap Behringer microphone, you know, that's, you know, a cheap $30 microphone. Not that Behringer is necessarily cheap. They've got some stuff that's a little pricey, but something that's cheap, you know, you can find it at Walmart or whatever. I don't know. I had a karaoke mic that I used for a long time, a little quarter inch karaoke mic. Um, I just plugged it right in. It had an on-off switch, and I could, you know, I could record all sorts of stuff with it. Um, as long as the mic is sound, you know, it's got a decent sound, you can, you know, you can easily make music with it ever. And keyboards, man. Um, I've got pianos and organs all over the studio. But you can get away with just like a MIDI key controller keyboard, you know. You don't need a lot of hardware these days. And not to say that I don't like my hardware. Um, and not that to say that hardware is bad, definitely get your hands on hardware and touch and feel and, and figure out what they do. Cause they do things differently than what the plugins do. And the plugins do things differently than what the hardware does. And I can't say 
which one's better, which one's worse, because they both have their shortcomings and they both have their pros. Um, so all I can say is, you know, get your hands on hardware if you can and try it out and see if it's for you. Um, for me, it's how I, my workflow works. If it's for you, then, you know, that's great. If not, um, there's guys making great music on just laptops and a two channel interface or a four channel interface. Apollo makes or Apollo UAD makes a whole bunch of Apollos and volts that have more than two channels. Um, along with, so does focus or they make a four channel Scarlet anyways, get your hands on those and see what those do. You know, maybe you're, maybe you're a portable guy and you need to travel a lot and hardware isn't going to work if you're going to travel a lot. Um, I go on vacation. I take my, my two channel interface and my laptop and, you know, I, I'll work on stuff that way. Um, you know, I get results either way. Um, just you got to work differently. So in in the grand scheme of things, you know, figure out what works for you. And if hardware is what works for you, great. It's what works for me. It may not work for you. So as I finish up here, I want to say thank you to everyone who has liked, subscribed, hit the bell notification, commented, watched. If you just watched it, you haven't. I recommend if you watched and you like these videos, subscribe. We got more stuff coming out. Um, we are super excited for what's coming up. And like I said, thanks for everybody who's liked and subscribed. And keep on doing so. And we'll see you next time.